guys, welcome back to Empower In. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel and this video and all of my videos. In this video, we're going over NCLEX style questions related to the disease process, acute renal failure. So this will be the final question that we're gonna have a video explanation and rationale about, but make sure you go to my website, which you'll find a link below, and you can find 28 questions in typed format. And you can go over those questions right there. This question is going to have you examine different lab values and it's going to ask you to decipher where the renal failure is originating from. So let's see if we can do it. Let's get started. Question number four. A client came to the hospital due to sepsis. Laboratory values show a BUN of 50 milligrams per deciliter, a serum creatinine of two milligrams per deciliter, a urine sodium of 70 milliequivalents per liter, a urine specific gravity of 1.010, and cellular cast and debris in the urine. The nurse knows based on this laboratory results that the client is having A, pre-renal failure, B, intrinsic renal failure, C, post-renal failure, or D, chronic renal failure. So with this question, they are giving us specific lab values to help us indicate where our patient's acute renal failure is originating from. In option A, pre-renal, we learned in the content video that this is caused by fluctuations in flow to the kidneys. Once you understand the lab values given in the question though, you will also see how this is not the correct answer. Option B, intrinsic renal failure is a possibility because urine specific gravity at 1.010 is low. The urine specific gravity tests the composition of urine next to water to determine how well the kidneys are filtering. A normal specific gravity ranges from about 1.015 to about 1.030 depending on your facility. Also, the question option mentions the presence of cast and debris in the urinalysis. Both of these are indication of acute tubular necrosis, which belongs to the intrinsic renal failure. Option C, post-renal failure. Post-renal failure is caused by something obstructing the urinary tract or ureters such as a tumor, enlarged prostate, or kidney stone. However, these lab values, as mentioned in option B, are indicating intrinsic or within the kidney failure. Option D, chronic kidney failure. Even though the BUN and creatinine levels are elevated, they're not extremely high, as you usually see with chronic renal failure. Making the final option here B, intrinsic renal failure. All right guys, thank you so much as usual for watching my videos and please subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more videos on pathophysiology and NCLEX related items. So anyways, we have such a pleasure creating these videos for you and we cannot wait to see you again very soon. Love you, bye.